Community Viewpoint. And welcome to another edition of Community Viewpoint. I'm John Pollock, your host for this segment. Is that my name below? Yep, that's who I am. So we've got that right. So we have a special guest with us uh, today. It's getting warmer outside. We're spending more time outside, so we're noticing uh, nature outside. Nature uh, besides the pigeons, rabbits, uh, what else we have out there? There are birds in particular. So we have uh, the good fortune of having with us uh, a gentleman that I, I've known for many years as Bird, the Birdman of Shoshone, if that doesn't ring a bell. He's the preserve steward of the Beatty property. If that doesn't ring a bell, it's, it's uh, Len Warren, who I've known for many years. <laughs> Welcome, Len. Hi. And uh, yeah, how many years have you been out there? Uh, this is my eighth year now. So he, you've led tours out there, walking tours out for the Amargosa Conservancy, haven't you, in the past? Yes, I've led uh, bird walks privately for the Amargosa Conservancy, for the Nature Conservancy, for Shoshone Village, uh, and I've studied birds uh, for a science work out there for this is my eighth year now. And I've got a new job now for the Nature Conservancy, mm -hmm. and why I'm here today is to promote our volunteer day, which is going to be in Beatty, Nevada, on June 12th from 9 to 1. Okay. So that's, what's that, a Saturday or Sunday? That's a Sunday. Sunday. I have to mention that you're, you've got the perfect uh, shirt on also, blending <laughs> with the, uh, uh, the, the leaves in it. It's an environmental color. That's I'm very, right. I'm very aware of. But uh, tell us a little bit about this uh, uh, volunteer day. If you well, want. the Nature Conservancy in Nevada has it's been- It's a big thing. It's a, has been involved uh, with the state of Nevada for more than 30 years mm -hmm. and helped to uh, uh, get promote uh, Red Rock Canyon, Stillwater uh, National Wildlife Refuge, Ash Meadows, yeah. um, and in Beatty, Nevada, we have a couple properties up there that uh, are uh, taken care of by Nature Conservancy, and in some cases, we need volunteers to help us clean them up. Um, we're looking for. Uh, people to help us pick up some trash along the Amargosa River up there. And also there's some invasive weeds that have sort of taken over one of our properties at the Torrance Ranch up there oh. and need to be pulled. Uh, it's a lot of work, but it can be pretty fun with a bunch of people doing it together. And, um, and we're also going to build a couple of picnic tables to put out along the river oh, okay. that day. So yeah. if people are skilled at building versus picking up trash, uh, that would be very helpful. I've noticed uh, I go up through Beatty at least once a week, and all the salt cedars are in bloom right now. And I'd see the pink or the off pink uh, grayish yeah. flowers, and I say, oh, no. Well, they, you know, for the most part in Beatty, they've done a great job with this salt cedar removal. There's that's a couple the, sections that are left. Right, that's the, the Southern Lyon County the, Conservation the, District. Right at yes. the end, yes. uh, and thank you. Um, and then, uh, so the remainder of the river in the Beatty area has been uh, tamarisk removed and uh, is a a very important area for the Amargosa toad, which yes. uh, is a threatened toad that the community of Beatty has come together over the years, uh, and Nate, the Nature Conservancy has helped in the process to create toad habitats to right. help this species uh, stay off of the endangered list. So uh, ranchers and miners and local citizens and Nature Conservancy and biologists with BLM and, and so forth and Fish and Wildlife Service have worked really hard to create toad habitats up there to help this uh, very threatened toad and they're breeding prolifically in these uh, toad habitats that they've created along the river. I've lost track of them but that they're doing well? They're doing very oh, well. Okay. Yeah, they're doing very well and um, it has a lot to do with the uh, the Tamaris removal to yes. begin with, to get a free-flowing uh, river that was uh, much clogged with old debris and things. So Beatty's worked very hard to yes. beautify that river. And this town has been working along with Nature Conservancy for many years to 
try to put together the Beatty Habitat Trail System. So mm -hmm. soon we're going to have some trails along that river that uh, everybody's uh, been planning and working hard on getting ready and our implementation process is going to be over the next nine months finally. So if you clean up the trails we'll, we'll be able to view uh, Judy Palmer as she walks through there all the time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then some of the birds that are up there that you see that we see we a lot of us don't really recognize they're there because our we're looking at the road or we're, we're we have other things on our mind but we have some photos here some pictures sure. if you want to identify what okay. you have up there but most of those we have down here also Mo the majority of the bird set that ends up going through Beatty Nevada it has this the same species are here in Pahrump as an example this is a female American kestrel and this is the smallest of the true falcons. And they, they're cavity nesters, so they'll nest in a hole in a tree. Okay. And um, they take mice, small birds, rodents, grasshoppers. And you can actually help this species a lot by putting up a kestrel box. It's spelled K-E-S-T-R-E-L. And people who like to make bird boxes, it's a pretty big one. Okay. with a good size hole can look online for the exact dimensions and the hole size and you could get a beautiful pair of small falcons breeding right near your home. And would, what would they do to my pigeons? Uh, they're way smaller than a pigeon so ah, that particular it. bird would not, would not right. help. You gotta find me something bigger. Yeah. But I mean, what else do we have up well, here? Well this What's one's that? a male northern harrier uh, formerly known as a marsh hawk. So it when looks I like a harrier jet. Yeah it's a kind of that looks like a harrier jet. Yeah. And um, they're marsh hawks, and they breed here in uh, Pahrump as well as up in Beatty, Nevada, and in wet meadows and marshy type of areas. Ash meadows would have a whole bunch Ash of Ash meadows probably. would as well. Yes. Here's a beautiful male yellow warbler. Uh -huh. um, this is a migratory bird, so they, they spend their winters in Central and South America. Oh, nice. And fly up here, and they, they arrive in... Uh, mid-April, mm -hmm. um, sometimes uh, early April, and they're currently breeding throughout willow areas um, throughout Nevada, really. Okay, cool. Here's a beautiful great blue heron. And I've seen, uh, Brian Brown, I've seen one of those down over in Tacopa by the hot springs mm -hmm. also. Yep, they're yes. uh, also here in, in Pahrump, Nevada, and this one I took a picture of up in Beatty along the river. Uh, that's a 47-inch tall bird. He yes. has a beautiful osprey, which is I haven't seen not those. a breeding resident here, but it's a passer through from time to time on their way to northern lakes with fish. They introduced them into the big cities um, many decades ago to take care of uh, some of the other uh, riffraff osprey. What, what do they eat? Uh, fish. 100% fish. Okay, they must have been on the East Coast, and they, they, uh, and they nested actually on the sides of buildings, too. Uh, these are the peregrine falcons the I peregrine. think you're talking about, where they, See, they, I they don't did know. introduce the, the larger falcons to cities. Peregon falcons, okay, now peregrine it's Peregrine falcon, that's the one that'll take care of your pigeons for you, John. All right, <laughs> but we can't get those here. Sure, we, get, we do get those here. Those are expensive? Uh, yeah. Oh, never mind. Yeah, um, <laughs> they breed up in Mount Charleston, Really? Yes, and they feed here in Pahrump on their travels through. And we also have prairie falcons here, which would take care of your pigeons as well. Oh, <laughs> there are every, every now and there's a hawk or a falcon. Something comes up on our roof, and for a while the pigeons are gone. But then they go, you know, please don't go. Well, in airports, uh, much of the bird... Uh, problems are taken care of by professional falconers who bring a falcon I've and fly that. them around yes. the airports and chase away flocks of birds which can get caught in aircraft. That's better than those uh, big bang cannons and stuff that they use to Well, they, them. I, generally they have to use a combination of both because the birds just move from one place to another but fal yeah. falcons can really help move <laughs> undesirable birds out. <laughs> the, the normal pigeons that are up there when I come out, uh, I bend over like I can pick up a rock. They see me and they take off because they know there's a rock <laughs> yeah. coming. Well, what else do we have up there that we miss? This one's a beautiful great egret. Uh, I took it on a windy day, so the wind is on this bird's back. It looks kind of like he's got there's a There's different types head, of egrets, aren't there? Yeah, um, here in this area we have uh, snowy egret, which looks much like this one, only smaller. Is there an American egret? Well, is, though, no, it's not. What, there's a, 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 a member of the egret family is called American bittern, okay. which is a small, stubby-looking. That's what I'm 
egret. Yeah. Um, we also have the heron, which we looked at uh -huh. recently, is, is in the same family. Uh, and we have little green heron, which is a smaller heron, maybe this size. Oh, okay. And least bittern, which is maybe About even smaller. So inches, they yeah. a great range of all these different small aquatic fish eaters, frog eaters, tadpole eaters. They take anything uh, opportunistically that they can that they can fit. So here, what's this? This one's a long-billed dowitcher, and this is a traveling shorebird. They don't breed here. Um, they have a very, very long bill, two or three times the length of their head. You can only see about half of that bird's bill. The rest is in the mud. It's a mud-probing shorebird. And um, they're on their way up to northern uh, breeding areas. Oh, okay. This is a beautiful eared grebe right here in oh, breeding yeah. plumage. So in the wintertime, this little water bird is just a black and white or grayish looking little bird. In the springtime, they blossom into golden feathers around the face and um, they uh, have a beautiful bright red eye. They're a yes, diving yes. bird, so they'll stay underwater for over a minute sometimes. Yeah. Here's a, another beautiful water bird. With, this is a black neck stilt. All these photos, by the way, were taken in Beatty, Nevada, mm -hmm. up along the Amagosa River, which is where our volunteer day uh, is planned for June 12th. Okay, let's run through that again. 9, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., and we'll be meeting behind the Stagecoach Inn. So again, June 12th, okay. uh, and it'll be 9 a.m. to 1 a.m., 1 p.m. and we'll be, it's, uh, we'll be doing trash pickup, invasive weed removal, and building a couple picnic tables. So anybody who would like to come up to Beatty to help us along the river, certainly we'd see some of these birds. Mm -hmm. We'll have a nice half day outdoors and uh, be able to see some of these beautiful properties that are up there as well. And you do tours or do you take people up there from time to time? Ha yes, we also we do have an Audubon Society bird walk scheduled up there on May 21st. Okay, that's coming up really quick. Yes, too. and yeah. that's at May 21st at 9 a.m. and we'll meet at uh, the Stagecoach Inn as well. Okay. So anybody would like to come and see some birds uh, on May 21st, we'd love to have you and do and show off our uh, beautiful Beatty Amagosa River. Great, we're out of time. Thank you, Len, for coming. Thanks, and John. <laughs> we're just showing everybody how ignorant I am about birds. But we'll see you again next week. Peregrine Falcon. Well, Peregrine Falcon. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Bye, folks. <laughs> Community Viewpoint.